Please join me in inviting the Holy Spirit into our homily by sing, Come Holy Ghost. Come Holy Ghost, create our blessed and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast Brothers and sisters, I, I pray that I can communicate to you a message of hope, even during this time of pandemic that we're suffering through. We are a resurrection people, and Alleluia is our song. For 50 days, we celebrate the season of Easter. Today, we celebrate the third Sunday of Easter, and we find ourselves in our gospel the very first day of the resurrection, where Jesus is on the road to Emmaus and he encounters these two men. One of them clearly says that they were disheartened. They, they were hopeless, if you will, because this Jesus, they're trying to explain to Jesus himself, who they put all their hope in, was crucified and he died. And then they're communicating this message that some of the women were saying that he's, he's risen. The hopelessness of these men, the, the desolation of these men, the confusion of the, these men is something maybe all of us can identify right now with as we're going through anxiety and fears, fear of death, loss of employment, the confusion of, and fear of sickness. Maybe we, we experience and, and taste that, that hopelessness as there doesn't seem to be a light at the end of the tunnel. But our hope is in Jesus. And Jesus was always there by their side. And he revealed himself after reminding them of all that the scriptures would promise. He revealed himself in the breaking of the bread. See, Jesus is present to them. They've encountered him. And to, we too today encounter the Lord. Now, to be that, that people of hope, that encounter is so important because we, we don't fear, we, we don't have anxiety. We, we, we we're people who've been touched by the Lord and we've encountered him. We know about the resurrection. We know that he's conquered sin and death. And so we don't fear. We don't even fear death. We don't even fear you know, all the anxiety that's building up inside us. We, we are a people of hope. And that message of hope right now must be delivered to all we meet. That, that message of hope, now maybe we can't go out of our houses to deliver it, but there are ways that we can communicate all that God has done for us. There are ways that we can communicate this message of hope. When I was here last time, as a, an associate pastor, I remember giving a, a homily on, on prayer and the importance of prayer and how we need to find a place during our day where we can pray, encounter the Lord, if you will. And I remember after Mass, this, this man and wife comes out, and, and the wife the, excuse me, the husband says to me, you know, Father, how am I going to have time to pray? I mean, I, I get up 6 o'clock in the morning. I go to the train station. You know, I go to work. I'm, I'm at my desk by 7. I don't leave the office until 7 at night and get home. You know, and I, I basically gobble down dinner and then fall asleep. When do I have time to pray? You know, and his wife's looking at them, at him with his, like her arms crossed. And, and she says, you? I mean, I, I get you up in the morning and get you breakfast. Then I get the kids breakfast, get them to school, pick them up after school, take them to a sporting event, get them dinner. Then when you come home, I feed dinner. 
and you're complaining. Well, unfortunately, that does seem like our normal life around here. We have been so busy. We've been so being on the treadmill of life, if you will, that maybe in this pandemic, this is a reset for us, a time to really be on our road to Emmaus, to allow the Lord to encounter us, that we spend time during this time in prayer, that we can find the Lord in a deeper way, that we can maybe come together as a family and, and pray the rosary, that we can come and maybe open the scriptures to look on the internet and to see all the activity that's going on that we can watch as families. The activity of the spiritual dimension that brings us closer to the Lord. Right now, we need to fill our minds with the good things, with the spiritual things that will help us encounter the Lord. There is so much out there that will lead us to this encounter. We can witness maybe to our neighbor about the message of hope. We can, miss, we can witness on the social medias to our families, to our friends. But right now, we, the people of hope, people who have encountered Jesus, must be sharing him with others. Our world is frightened. Our world is high anxiety right now. And they need the message of hope. They need Jesus. And so today, my brothers and sisters, we are the people who've encountered him. We are the people who've been touched by him. We have been the people who God is right now calling us to a deeper encounter with him. We are the people today who are blessed, even through this virtual mass, to experience Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Now, today we can't physically receive Jesus in the body and blood, soul, and divinity of the Eucharist, but we can encounter him. In the spiritual communion we make today, where we surrender our hearts to him, we can be like the men of Emmaus, where our hearts will start burning from an encounter. Matter of fact, if we're genuine, our hearts should be burning because Jesus is coming into our hearts in a real way. You're inviting him in. He's revealing himself to you. You're encountering him. And your heart should be burning with his love, with his joy, to the point where that joy is so real that I cannot help but share that joy with others. My brothers and sisters, we are a people of hope. Jesus is inviting us to this personal encounter today. May you recognize him like the men of Emmaus did. May you recognize him and encounter him and share that joy of the good news. God bless you.